Not again, bro. A fucking gen? Bro. 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 It's like this thing is in my chat. It's like, it's like he's watching my stream. I see dead people. Wherever, doing whatever, somewhere else. It just sort of, it bugged me, man. It, it bugged me because it was like somebody I looked up to at one point. It was somebody that I was like, I used to see out and be like, yo, that's that nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's doing his thing. He opened for Jay. You know, he had records. He was killing him. He worked with Pharrell. He worked with the Clips. They not like us. They not like us. All right. This is not like us. Uh, by Kendrick. Back on the ritual on the tone between Kendrick and K I mean Kendrick and Drake beef. We're getting to the end of it. Let's get into it. By the way, there's a lot of culture. I say culture, I'm talking about African American culture because that's what we're talking, talking about hip hop. African American culture, right? There are a lot of culture jams. When I say culture jams, I'm talking about moments and like tv shows you know black tv shows um or or music and and you know music any music you get any genre you talk about jazz you know whatever you can think about i've created it but there's a lot of jams and and all of kendrick's um songs you know um solidifying <laughs> even though it didn't need to be solidified that um he is culture right drake was claiming he was tortured because he had the numbers but we understand that hip-hop is not ran by africans right it's ran by non-africans um right so numbers is not really what we're looking at so culture you can't really put money on culture you can't put money on culture at all so that's not what we look at we look at skills we look at we look at what really matters what what the ancestors you know set a standards you know when it comes to pertaining to anything that has to do with culture and and, and in this instant we're talking about hip-hop and in hip-hop we understand it's a competitive sport you know it's also a sport that that was that was created by teams right so we're now seeing hip-hop grow to where you know older folks are still making hip-hop music that still slaps because they're not they're talking about real quote-unquote real stuff that has to do with adults and business and all that stuff right we're seeing where the jay-z's have taken it you know um and and we're seeing how they have grown through our time you know from from the content of, that they were rapping they're not like us they not like us. They not like us. They not like us. You think the play on the disrespect cops, nigga? I think that's also culture. Um, we're on the park. Even though Park is from the east, he's really from the west. He's from all over, <laughs> right? He, and he was he he lived in the west and he loved the west. He claimed the west. Um, and Oakland was, you know, that's basically um one of the places he 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 grew up was Oakland, and um. <laughs> So Kendrick is saying, you're disrespecting pocket. You remember that? Blue Nutty. Off the butt of the bag, people, people don't even like this. We hear two packs, boys. Two pack? Come on. The definition of culture? No. Some 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 would take it as disrespect. Why are you using the AI? And um Kendrick is saying, hey, um, <laughs> Your last show will probably be open. Once upon a time, all of us will send chains. Homie, still double down, calling us. Oof. Once upon a time, all of us was in chains. Homie, still double down, calling us some slaves. I told you. I told you. It was going to come back to bite them. Um, I think it family matters, right? Greg said, um, you're rapping like you're about to free the slaves. You can't say you're about to free the slaves when you're a mixed race 
who was raised with his non-African family. You can't say that because today is seen, black people are seen as the face of slavery, right? Because we're basically the bottom of, 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 of slavery. With us, slavery basically ended. Even though I basically told, I told you guys, slavery has been um, a thing for, for many years, for many, many years. Um, although it was never done as how, how the transatlantic slave trade was done on a mass scale, but it's always been there. Chinese people enslaved Chinese people, Chinese people, black people enslaved black people, they enslaved Chinese people, then black people enslaved white people, black people enslaved Arabs, Arab enslaved black people, Arab enslaved Arab, Arab enslaved white people, Arab enslaved Chinese, everybody enslaved everybody. Until, you know, the, rec the recent centuries, um, when they turned into transatlantic slavery and um um basically the focus was on africa on its minerals and also the people right where the arabs and and, and the Eurasians were all looting humans and resources on the continent right and then it became a racial thing right so when you go to school today you're being told oh, slavery is black people and uh, those those Ask them what happened. What what were black people before slavery, right? We have so many empires. We we traveled. We we explored. We created um, civilizations for other nations like Europe. You know, um, we went into Asia, created civilizations there. We came into America, created civilizations. Right? We've been everywhere on this planet. Once upon a time, all of us were sent chains. Homie, still double down, calling us some slaves. With Drake saying that um kendrick is, is rapping like he's trying to free the slaves who are the slaves first of all no african was a slave they were all enslaved which is why i don't understand when african some african in america want to call themselves foundation foundation no um descendant of slaves like are you okay in the head are you are you are you dumb <laughs> you know i seen i, I seen this I'm gonna get into the racial undertone. I've seen this light skinned woman talking about, oh, we're descendant of slaves. Like, how much of a beating have you taken for you to even consider yourself a descendant of the slaves? You know what that makes you? That makes you a slave. <laughs> that makes you a slave. A goat cannot give birth to a lion, a goat gives birth to a goat. So, if your ancestors were slaves, you are also a slave and you have been taught to think that because all throughout and it's not just africans and americans africans everywhere we have been taught all through our lives that uh that the earth started with fucking with effing slavery in africa but no it, it didn't <laughs> it didn't actually africans are the last to be enslaved by the world you know <laughs> so we have been whitewashed when you call yourself a son of slaves you are seeing yourself as a european person you're seeing yourself as a non-african person right because slavery is associated with black today for you to say you are a descendant of slave you are seeing yourself as a white person calling yourself a descendant. It, it just makes no sense right you can say you're a descendant of the enslaved Enslaved means they were forced. Being a slave just basically means you just submit. I think that's what we have today, where people are slaves to to their to their cars, to their to money, to whatever the case may be, right? But you can't call yourself the center of slaves. That that just that's just stupid. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, whoever you are, I'm sorry. That's just dumb. Now I heard Terry talking about um, foundation of Black American. I I could deal with that. If, if you want to call the 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 black americans the africans that were that were enslaved or that were stolen from africa that were brought to america who never left america foundation of black americans i i support that i i can dig it but for you to call yourself this, this, this you can't even say it because it just it's just so dumb you are putting yourself in a bad position already you you we already know what you see yourself as then when you go to the mirror today we know you see yourself as a slave we know your mindset before you even tell us right but hey 
that's that's a video for another day, right? <laughs> Back to the racial undertone between K Dot and Drake. Let's get into it. So now Kendrick want to get into some history. Atlanta was the mecca of building railroads and trains. Bear with me for a sec. Let me put you on game. Okay. Trains never wait for a second. Let me put you on game. The Santa Lucia shoes tell for the big original fast for 2024. You got the same agenda. You run into 11 when you did a check balance. Let me break it down for you. There's a real bell challenge. I'll get you with you. <laughs> this the real N word challenge. Now, as I already told you, Africans in America have taken the N word. And, 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 and turn it into, quote unquote, a word of endearment. I wouldn't agree with that, but I'm not even getting into that. But because they have turned that word into a word of endearment, right? They can call themselves N-word. And when you call yourself a real N-word, that means you stand on your words. You know, you are who you say you are. Your word is bond. You know, you are, you are to be trusted. You're, you're trustworthy. Right. So he's saying Drake basically aligned himself. He's saying, let me break it down for you. This is the real N word challenge. He's trying to show you how Drake is trying to be a real N word. Right. You called future when you didn't see the club. Little, like, <laughs> let me not do it. Little baby help you get your, your lingo up. Right. So, you know, we don't know what future, you know, future is what it is. It's, you know, it's for the streets, right? So, and we all know in Atlanta, you know, we all know the strip clubs are very much prevalent. That is part of the black culture in Atlanta, right? I told you it's different states and different states have different lingos, right? Um, slightly different um, favoritism when it comes to culture. Like, like Atlanta might put you know, strip club first, and when you go to um, when you go to Oklahoma, they will probably put like the African parades they be having first, and also the Wango is is right is is very much you know African. No baby, help you get your lingo up, right? So little baby was probably putting them in game, right? Twenty one, I had to get my my lingo up when I came to America. You know, at 15 years old, coming from Africa, coming from Africa, you know, I didn't really know much about America, but I, I you know, I had to assimilate, you know, because, you know, you go to high school and you end up learning, you, you learn the culture, you, you learn, you just learn, right? You learn your environment you're in. 21 got you the four street credit, right? And the underbelly of the black American culture is the hood, right? Black Americans are not just in the hood, right? We have rich black communities, right? Who who obviously carry black black American culture. Who you know they grew up in that is the culture. That's their day to day life. They are they're rich. They don't they don't do the hoodlum stuff. They can do it because we understand most of Africans today are coming from struggle. It doesn't matter where you are, right? Even if you're on the continent, you're you're coming from struggle because of we're still. We're still going through the effects of the transatlantic slave, of the Arabic slave trade, um, and all the all all the wars that has that has all the wrongs that has been done to Africans worldwide. Right, we're still going through it. So most of us, I don't say most of us, right? Anywhere you go, you're gonna see hoods, and you're gonna see black hoods, just like you're gonna see Chinese hoods. Right, you have Chinatown. They have the China hood in America. Right. You have Indian Indian town. I'm sure they have their hood. They have their underbelly, right? And in this case, we love music so much, and you know, and, and our underbelly is just showing through music. So he's saying, "Twenty One got you the four street cred." And the underbelly, the street cred is very necessary, right? The street is is part of the underbelly of the culture of black people in America, right? To have street cred means you're valid where you're from basically you know you're 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 good where you're from because most people are not especially when they're in the gangs or they're they're basically not seen as green right they're the tall guys if, if you ask me that that's childish behavior right but we're not gonna get into that i have my own plight with that we're, we're not gonna get into that thug make made you feel like 
you were slime, you were slime, you were slime in your head. <laughs> um, I beg you won't come and kill me. Uh, well, <laughs> tug, <laughs> we don't know Thugga Thugga, right? Um, he's facing whatever he's facing right now. The turn into gang culture, right? Or told you gang culture is, is part of the underbelly of the culture, which is proponent, which is which is pushed to the front of hip hop today, right? Slime is 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 I guess part is, is some type of gang or whatever. Um Quavo said you can't you can be from north side. I guess Quay was from north side. Two Chain said you good, but he lied. Um Yeah. He, he already told you he's gonna show you how Drake is trying to be a real N word. And to be a real N word, you need to have street cred. You need to be valid with the gangs. You need to have people telling you you're good when you come to where they're from. Um, you need, once again, you need to have people telling you you're good where they're from. So, Two Chains lied, Quavo lied, Thugga lied, two, two, 21 Savage lied, everybody lied. You run to Atlanta when you need, uh, when you need a few dollars. When was Drake broke? No, you're not. Uh, all right. Oh. No, you're not a colleague. You're a effing colonizer. But this goes back to Drake being seen as a white boy. We all know white what white culture that's associated with is colonizing and vandalizing and destroying and taking and stealing all of that. So are you seen as a colonizer? That's not a good thing, man. There's, and in in terms of war, that's a good thing. You will go out there and conquer. But in terms of civil people in terms of being one with nature in terms of being human and living in harmony with the rest of humanity no you're seen as the oddball out you're seen as the weirdo like you're, you're a colonizer you're a weirdo you know you come you still you 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 lie you do what you got to do to colonize so he's saying drake hey drake <laughs> you are not a colleague we're not in this rap game together you 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 were saying you know top five you were saying top three you know big three whatever hey man we're not in the same league my boy you're a colonizer you're a white boy who's from canada who wants to be down with the american culture and you think you're the leader of the culture like no go back to canada my boy like like bro <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> all right this is this is the end of it um not like this like this is the heart part six The Pulitzer Prize winner is definitely spiraling. I got your fucking lines tapped, I swear that I'm dialed in. First, I was arrested, so where's the proof of the trial then? Where's the paperwork of the cabinet is filed in? 1090 Jake would have took all the walls down. The street. First of all, 1090 Jake, nobody cares about 1090 Jake. They're just showing how white you are. 1090 Jake is a, it's a fat white dude who sits on the internet and try to basically expose this quote unquote gangster rappers. Who basically won the street cred? Right, we already talked about how the street cred is is is, is a part of the underbelly of the culture, right? Who basically um, claim to be tough guys, and you know um, nobody really, nobody nobody in the culture really cares much about Ten Ninety Jake. He just has a, a huge following, um, but as we all know, is 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 it going to be majority? You know, non African kids. You know, in in his audience. But he's basically using 1090 Jake to say, hey, my, my street cred is good, is good, basically. If I'm Drake, like, why are you trying to make it seem like you're a tough guy? We don't know you are a law abiding citizen, you know, <laughs> quote unquote, right? Um, when he says my jacket is covered in medals, honor and decoration, you waited for this moment. Um, the jacket is covered in medals, basically talking about the, 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 the different wars basically he has been through. You know, he basically went at it with, went at it with Meek, um, that we know he won. He went at it with Pusha T, 
he he did not come out victorious with that. Um, he's going he's going with you know, with Pharrell with several other people, right? Even uh, even Common. My motto is Chicago bitch. Everybody know you sweet. What the problem is? Don't play dumb. I'm the one that acknowledged it. Son of a bitch, I imagine what your father is. She said, How you make your opponent? The rapper of the moment is style. He don't own it. Act it all hard when he hardly like that. You gon' mess around and make me catch your body like that. Oh. Don't do it, cause every song you make, Joe, is really whole music. I heard you said you wasn't a bitch cause you sing. You a bitch cause you cling like a bitch that's 18. Can't say my name but rap about a nigga's wife. You so black and white trying to live a nigga's life. I'm taking too long with this amateur guy. You ain't wet nobody, nigga. You Canada dry. I know Soft I nigga. Rap, Make no mistake, yeah, I'm yeah, talking yeah. to Drake. It's the remix. Rick Ross. Common. And that whole ass nigga. No, man, man to man. I don't hide behind them other niggas. No, this this man to man. You can't run behind them, man. This is some real man shit right here. You were women, though. Which is why, quote unquote, I've heard a lot of. You know, industry people don't mess with him because he's always trying to mess with your woman. Um, even even drum, right? He he, he mess with um, DJ drums, woman, and, and ended up talking about it in the song, right? <laughs> this dude is messed up. Um, but that's I guess that's what Kendrick was saying. Um, but yeah, he's basically trying to say his straight credit is good. He's he's you know, and, and and when it comes to hip hop, he's he's had different. You know, he's going against it with different. You know, um, acts. And he's come up victorious, you know. Um, so for Pusha T, see, it seems to me when when the dark skin, when the dark skins come at him, he um, he, 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 he <laughs> snaps in his boot and then you know um, take the L. Um, mother, uh, mother, uh, wait a second. That's that one record where you said you got molested. Um, this is wrong information. Kendrick never said he got molested. He said his mom thought he got molested because his mom got molested. And um, I don't want to say this is like a trauma for black people. I think there's a trauma for all people. Um, there's several ca cases of, you know, uh, molestation within families. When you, I mean, when you go to the Jewish community, they just happen to keep it in house, right? Um, Muslims, you go to the Arab community, you know, the marrying kids are like 14, you know, because some God said it's OK, quote unquote, respectfully. Um, when, you, when you when you go to Europe, you know, they're doing the same thing. Even in America, um, I think some states actually they're, um I think that the age of consent in some states is like 14, 15. And we go to like Texas, you know, the southern quote unquote redneck states are usually like, you know, so I don't want to say this is a black, uh, you know, um, community thing. This is a this is a human inhumanity thing, you know, molestation and child abuse and you know, rape and whatnot. Um, this this whole sentence, this whole <laughs> this whole line makes Drake look more of a white boy. You no black person is gonna say mother ah mother ah oh f me <laughs> like that's just a white boy thing to say like you know usually they're the ones that are like making jokes of making jokes about you know penis and you know f me and 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 quote unquote you know homosexuality jokes and and whatnot so for him to say. Mother, ah, uh, mother, ah, uh, fuck me. That, 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 <laughs> that right there <laughs> cements what Rick Cross has been saying. You know, Rick Cross has been calling him white boy. I just a hypocrite. I don't understand why these people preach. It sounded like you said I'm commissary. We need some paper. I don't drive a song. Nobody can turn a cloud chase this I don't know why those people praise you. He's basically saying he doesn't know why the culture praise him. But Drake, you know why. You know, you, you know why, Drake. Come on. They're doing hard labor. Then I'll see you when I see you like Fantasia. Whitney, you can hit me if you need a favor. And when I say I hit you back, it's a lot safer. I promise. Nice. Wait, no, you don't turn the favor like. 
All right. So there you have it. This is the end. We just went through all of the diss tracks. Um, and, and, and this is it for the racial undertone between Drake and Kendrick Beef. As I started with, with as I started in the beginning, the dark skin and the light skin thing is always going to be a thing in, in the community. As long as race is a thing in this world, as long as um, one man wants to oppress and, and, and take and steal and, and do whatever to the next man, or one race want to do it to the next race, this is always going to be there until everything is balanced out. This race then is always going to be there. And I, I already told you, there are two types of light skin. There are one light skin, there you have both parents that are African. African is synonymous to black. And they happen to have a child that is a lighter complexion than they both are, right? That child is African, biologically, no doubt about it. And then you have the mixed race light skin, whose parent, one parent, is of another race and the other parent is of another race in this case we're talking about black people so the parent is black and the other parent is non 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 black or non african and then you have this mixed child when this mixed child comes comes on onto this planet called earth is already there's already a problem right because the sanctity of the birth wasn't sanctified you know this place is not clean there's, there's blood everywhere right so so the child is compromised like kendrick is saying you're, you're already compromised so now the child getting on this planet now the child has to choose if it's going to side with the parents or they're going to side with the mother or the, or the father it's always going to be neutral whichever way the child goes society has its own concept of how they're going to look at the child right they're gonna look at him as mixed you're you're, you're mixed black and white somebody gonna look at you like you're black somebody gonna look at you like you're white i already told you if you're mixed race or you're mixed or light skin whatever you go to africa today they're gonna call you a white person right if you come to america you go to the west if you're mixed with black you're gonna be called a black person and i'm gonna be called white so obviously depending on where you are how people are gonna look at you is different Right, so now it comes down to the child, for the child to make this determination whether they're gonna go left, they're gonna go right, or they're gonna go neutral. So you have already compromised the child just by having the child. This is why, this is one of the reasons that as, as a Pan-Africanist, as an African, we, we advise not to reproduce with a non-African or not sleep with them. And if you do sleep with them, that's not something to be pr pr proud about. You know, that's not something to be, don't be out here flaunting your own African man or woman in front of Africans. No, we frown on that. That's not cool. You know, and it's not just Africans. Other culture also frown on it. You are, you are um, uh, the Arab Peninsula right now, right? If you're not Arab and you're out here with, like a black person, you're going to be thrown out, especially a black person. The the amount of racism in the Arabic Peninsula, or in you know in the Arabic world, Saudi, um, Qatar, Qatar, all of them, all the Arab people over there are extremely racist. You know what I'm saying? They they're going to look at you weird. But I want to say this. People wanting to stay within their ethnic group, their culture, or their race. It's not racist, right? You going out of your way to hinder another race, or to hunt, or to, 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 to cause whatever damage to the other race. Now, that's racism. The action is racism. You're coming, you're coming, you're committing a racist act by doing that. Me telling you, <laughs> somebody telling you, you look black and they don't like it. That's their problem. You know, but when they go ahead to treat you badly because they don't like the fact that you're black. Now, that's why we got to call 
That's why we got to call flag on the plate. That's why we got to stand our ground, ground and retaliate however way we need to retaliate or defend ourselves or whatever the case may be, right? So I say that to say, this is why we don't advise reproducing with non-Africans and, and sleeping with non-Africans is not a trophy. No, you're actually degrading yourself. As a black person, you're out of 10 in terms of biology. <laughs> so you reproduce someone non-African, you're, you're, you're bringing your, your value down. You're bringing, you're, you're destroying your DNA or whatever the case may be. But that's not even what we're talking about, right? So now you've had this child. This child is seen as an outsider by either side, right? This is what Drake is facing. And not to talk off, Drake doesn't understand. And there are people like Drake that, or or mixed African, mixed race Africans like Drake, who do not understand that there are Africans worldwide, and they all have their own culture or ethnic background. Now, if we look at the roots, it all traces back to the continent of Africa right but that's not the point the point is everywhere you go there are africans there and they have either created a new ethnic group or a new tribal tribal group based on the premises or based on whatever they have of being africans and also the environment where they've picked up from the environment so in the case of Africans in America, they've picked up some, some, some crumbs of African culture and they have turned it into hip hop and they have turned it into jazz. They have turned it into, into rock, into country, into all these genres of music and not just talk of music. They have taken the knowledge and also created all types of um, technological advances that we use today. The refrigerator, um, the, the the light bulb was perfected by a black person. Your you, your smartphone, black person, um, in America, right? Um, traffic light, black person in America. Um, cars were the refrigerators. You know the the refrigerated car trucks, black person. <laughs> Helping NASA go to space, black person. <laughs> from America and these are all foundational African Americans or black people in America or Africans in America um so there's several things that he's basically trying to say to, to um to Drake right and obviously Drake is feeling like he's not in the right place because the biggest proponent is that he's mixed He's not from America and he did not grow up with his father in America. He grew up with his Jewish mom in Canada, right? So really that's, that's basically all what the beef is about. It's about who is the leader of the new school? Who is the leader of this thing called hip hop? Hip hop is a sub, it's a sub, um, subculture within the culture. Once again, hip hop music has several genres within it right one of the genres is conscious rap which is what hip-hop really started with started with conscious rap activism um and all and and all the right stuff right and then you know as time went on once again it was it it, it got under the control of non-africans and obviously colonizers what colonizers do is they colonize right <laughs> So it got in the hands of the colonizers and they push, you know, negativity cells, right? So they push this gangster rap, you know, this, this real rap, whatever the case may be. And now hip hop is just reduced to B words and N words and shoot them up, bang, bang. But if you look to the other side, this conscious rap talking about getting to know who you are as an African talking about knowing your environment, talking about our plight what we need to do what 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 we are doing um you know and 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 so on and so forth right 
So that's basically what it's about. It's about who is the leader of the new school. And you can't be the leader of the new school when you're not from it. You can't be the leader of nothing when you're not from it. Eminem could never be the best rapper because he's not African. You, you can't be the best or something that you weren't born in, even if you have the soul for it. It's just, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're not we're not gonna accept you as that. You you can accept you as that. And, and, and that would be that, right? But other than that, don't look to the people for for valid, validate val, validation or to, to to verify you as as the one that's chosen by people no you're not even from that right um what else did i miss um you're not from that so that's that's really the biggest plight of kendrick is that you're not american you act like you're american you go to this other places like jamaica you act like you're jamaican you, you you come up with a latino song act like you're latino you go to britain and and even with them they have a black culture stemming from the the jamaican culture and, and african culture coming together to create you know um the british black culture whatever that may be i've never been to britain but from their music um and their content i'm seeing that's that's basically what is given right so this 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 racial undertone thing between dark skins and light skins has has been on for a very long time you know we look to slavery we look to um quote unquote the mulattoes and you know how you know um mixed race africans were helping you know um colonial enemies the the, the masses quote unquote right and and they were put in place just like drake has put in place to be seen as the leader of you know the black people meanwhile he's doing the dirt of you know the enemies of black people basically all right so that's 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 um kendrick's biggest play and we even see that with um with the haiti and 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 um haiti and dominican republic you know haiti dominican republic used to be part of haiti and they separated because the quote-unquote mulattoes Apparently the the mulattoes are the kids are are the mixed race kids that have privilege. Like you can't be mixed race and not have privilege, right? Typically. So the closer you are to Europeans, you're you're much more privileged, quote unquote. Right? And and you once again you see that with Haiti and Dominican Republic, where Dominican Republic separated from Haiti because the Haitians, which are predominantly Africans who wanted nothing to do with slavery who seen um the slave their their, their colonial their slave the end the enslavers as their colonial enemies and were taken off their heads you know they they don't want no part of the slavery but dominican republic on that side of that island which are predominantly mixed race kids you know they wanted to keep that system of slavery in place why because and this is real story that i've had with people who are from dominican republic from from their perspective they're saying my uncle is white my diet is white my you know i have relatives that are white i'm mixed so for me to take arms and attack my family it just it's just not gonna happen right and this side of the family gives me the privilege that I'm looking for, right? So of course I'm gonna side with them. So that's basically what happened with the with the Haiti and 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 Dominicans. Dominicans ended up siding with their enslavers and Haitians chopped off the heads of the enslavers. And up to today, there is still tension between Dominican Republics, um, people from Dominican Republic and people from Haiti, right? When you when you go to this Latino the current the islands right when you go to the islands dominican puerto rican whatever the case may be they want to associate with the whiteness they they predominantly majoritively don't want to be seen as africans or as black people right it's a famous video me no black me no black right <laughs> they go out with their way to tell you they're not black they are they don't identify by race they identify by nation though they'll say i'm dominican i'm puerto rican right i'm mexican 
I know black, I know black, I know black. Imposible, I know black. I'm Dominican, I'm Puerto Rican, I know black. Be looking just like me. Be like, be having the same hair. I be touching it like, it's not the same. It's not the same. It's not the same, papi. It's not the same. They try to salsa that shit off. I be like, no, it's not the same. I know black. Negro, nunca, nunca. I know, ne no, no, nunca. I know black. I'm like, no, you black. No, no, no. I know black. Dominica, I go, I know, but you're black. No, 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 papi. I know black. No, no, black, black, black. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but some of you guys be like, um, whatever the case may be, right? So, once again, this tension, this, this undertone, this tension between light skin and dark skin, it's always going to be there. But my plight is, if you consider yourself as African, as a and, and you're mixed you know you're you're always going to go through this but if you side with an african if you side with being an african go the african route marry an african produce with an african create an african household and so on and so forth this is how you overturn right the um you over, i don't want to i don't want to say a mistake because there's two, there's two different races consciously went into the bedroom and had sex and had the child, right? So I don't want to say, <laughs> I don't want to say it's a mistake, but you can overturn the decisions I guess your parents made, you know? Um, and with that being said, this is Al Kibbalan TV. Subscribe, and that's peace.